This is the rapid fire, and since you know you are into a rapid sport, I thought you'll be the perfect candidate. Uh, but no long answers. Quick, fast. We'll try and wrap it in in two minutes. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay, go. Uh, the question that you are sick of answering. So first would be, uh, how do you feel? Kesa lag raha hai? Kesa lag raha hai? I think uh, okay. that's that tops. Okay. Your second favorite sport after shooting? Equestrian. Horse Equ riding. Yeah, equestrian. Which you're not allowed to do? Am I not? No, she is allowed to do. She is. Okay. Your first sporting memory? Uh, first sporting memory. I think I watched the Maricom movie. Mm -hmm. So that was amazing. Amazing work done by Priyanka ma'am also. And the movie, the storyline, amazing. Love Mary ma'am. Okay. On that note, your favorite film on sport? I think the, it's definitely Maricom. And then the uh, second one would be MS Dhoni, The Untold Story. Yeah, I love that too. Brilliant. I can watch in loop. You watch it on loop? Yeah, I can. Okay. If not a shooter, Manu Bhakar would have been? A doctor, for sure. My mom wanted me to become a doctor. <laughs> okay. Uh, the one performance that you enjoyed the most at Paris Olympics 2024, other than shooting any other sport that you enjoyed watching the most? So I saw the hockey uh, ka bronze medal match and then uh, the Paralympics uh, Avni's match and Navdeep. And Navdeep. Navdeep, yeah. Navdeep and Avni were here yesterday. They would have loved to have known oh. that you... You want to add one more? Well, I also watched the javelin qualifications. You know this will become a headline. I know. Sorry? This will become a headline. That, that is, that, uh, that's why. Did you enjoy the javelin final or not? Final I did not uh, watch, but the qualifications I got to watch. What did you make of Neeraj's performance there? I think uh, we all have a uh, huge element to learn from him mm -hmm. that uh, the matter of consistency, he's been very consistent with his performances and I think he's a great athlete. Okay. The one person from history you would love to meet? Abdul Kalam, sir. Wow, oh, brilliant answer. Uh, your celebrity crush? You're the national crush, but this your celebrity crush? Uh, honestly, uh, I think uh, we've only seen celebrities on, uh, on screen or in movies and all. Uh, and they, the characters that they choose to play, you don't know them in person. And if I don't know somebody in person, if I don't, uh, if I'm not, uh, not friends with them, or at least just talk. If I don't, uh, if I'm not in touch with them, I don't know who they are in reality. And if I don't know who the person is in reality, I can't uh, like them. Okay. Uh, if Manu Bhakar is feeling low, uh, what can uplift her mood? Food, music, or film? Music. Okay. Your comfort food? Ghar ka khana, obviously. Makhan would be there. Bajri ki roti would be there. Okay. Um, then namkeen chawal. I mean, I really, really love Ghar Ka Ghana. Okay. Uh, I know you love stand-up comedy, your favorite artist. One. Uh, Anubha Basi. Okay. Uh, then uh, Abhishek Upmanyu. Then Zakir Khan, of course. Uh, okay. And there's uh, Ashwarya. Okay. Amazing. Since you love stand-up comedy, what's your go-to joke to ease the tension in a room? Tell us one. See, suddenly I can't come up with a joke. Um, wait. Okay, it's a very lame joke, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Hathi Chiti, Chupam Chupai Khel Rehe Thay. So, Chiti Mandir Me Chupi Thi. Hathi Ko Pata Chal Gya. Kaise? Malo. Usse Chappal Bahar Nikali Thi. It's a good one. Okay. Very lame jokes. I really love lame jokes. Yeah, that's alright. Last couple of ones. Um, what's the one thing that Manu Bhakar is least likely to do in the future? Join Bollywood, join politics or become an entrepreneur? Least likely to do? See, you never know what the future uh, has in it for you. Um, but I think uh, business can be, but other two things I doubt. I really doubt. Politics and Bollywood, I'm not a huge fan, so, of me, of, you know, seeing myself. The so least it. likely is no Bollywood, no politics.
Yeah, least likely. Okay. But you never know what the future has in it for you. So, so unless people catch this video and if you join politics one day and play that video, <laughs> out, that's it. Finally, if if a genie granted you three wishes, what are you going to be your wishes? You know, I've really thought about it. Um, so first thing would be Amrit to all the people I love, and I also love myself. So <laughs> all the people I love and for myself, Amrit, um, and then. Second thing would be to become a great shooter in life and to actually fulfill oh, my dream. Already a great shooter. No, I mean the Olympic gold is still there, the dream. So yeah, I want to fulfill that. Mm, and third thing would be to eat non-stop without getting uh, fat, or you know, to maintain my fitness and still be able to eat. That is one wish that all of us would want. But thank you.